All right, everyone, it's time for a little springtime ride with the Coleman Mini 200. <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> Bless me again. It's going to be a great ride, a little springtime season. As you can see from the road, it is uh, pretty destroyed. And we'll really test out the Coleman Mini Bike. Kind of see how it rides. As you can see, it takes care of that mud, no problem. There's a lot of wind, so I did turn the volume down a little bit, especially for that. I just saw a snowflake go by. Like I said, the weather is uh, questionable at best. But it really does handle well, especially in the mud. As you can see here, I'm starting to go down the trail. There's still snow, but the Coleman Mini Bike handles it just fine. It did get a little slippery and a little sketchy in some spots, and there was only one spot in which I really had to drive over, or by drive over, I mean walk over. This wasn't it. The Coleman Mini Bike actually went through this no problem. Even with the standard clutch, I was able to make my way through all of this uh, ice and snow and mud. I am going to be considering getting a torque converter to get some more bottom end and some more reliable torque ability, so to speak. I also do want to haul things with it. The suspension, as you just saw right there, is very not good. I think maybe a replacement suspension is in order, depending on how much I use it or how fast I go. The frame is not really built for speed and I see a lot of folks getting all of these 60 to 70 mile an hour mini bikes and that's just crazy to me. It's all about the low end torque. And you can see I'm struggling a little bit here. There's probably roughly four to five inches snow maybe 10 to 15 centimeters for those in every other country other than the u.s for those that haven't seen snow before it can be a little rough to drive through but the knobby tires seem to handle it just fine so maybe two to three four inches of snow is roughly the maximum amount that the uh, coleman mini bike can handle The one thing I don't like about it is I ended up with a lot of mud on my back because that puddle I just went through. All of the mud seems to kick up from the back, but that's just how the bike works. Making my way. Yep, and after hearing that, I just remembered that when I was coming through here, this is where I think I had to get off the bike and walk it down because there is a giant snow pile. And the benefit of the bike being so lightweight is that I was able to get over uh, the snowbank without any kind of problems. This is like the little engine that could. The book adapted into a movie. Here we go, I make it right over. One of the things that I noticed as well is in this deeper kind of slushy snow is you really have to have momentum. You're pretty much hanging on to the handlebars for dear life and you know, all gas, no brakes. That's pretty much how you got to run this thing. Here, I'm right next to the uh, brook, which is a very nice spot. Little trail through here. Got to go slow. Don't want to get too crazy and tip over into the water. And it seems to work pretty well. I mean, even off trail here. a nice drive by the river.
One of the things that I like is when you really get on it, you can really honestly control it better unless you're going through the snow. And as you're about to see through this next section, um, it's going to be very much throttle all the way down, just trying to drum it all the way through. But it does get the job done, and even then, that's with the standard stock clutch. I think with a torque converter, um, I think I could get through all of this no problem. As you can see here, I'm kind of dragging. And again, that has to deal with the, maybe the sprocket. Maybe I'll upgrade to a 60 tooth or a 72 tooth along with a torque converter. That'll give me a ton of bottom end. And with a torque converter, that'll keep my top speed the same, but it'll give me much more towing capacity and ability to punch through this kind of stuff. And again, this is where I had to get off and give it a little push. The little engine that could. I did get stuck here and I had to lift it. And of course, you want to make sure the oil is chained and the clutch is oiled and everything's ready to go. And in this last section, I just throttle all the way down for the most part and just bomb it all the way up and get to the top because the only way you're going to get through this kind of stuff is with inertia and the only way you can get inertia is if you're going kind of fast I mean really the last thing I want to comment about is what a beautiful day it was it was probably in the 40s or 50s which is uh, great weather especially this time of the year. And of course, I make it to the top. If you guys like what you saw, like, subscribe, share, hit that bell for some notifications. Thank you guys very much.